Thatcher's score and the Ted Constant Convocation Center, Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers, have come off the mount for a matchup with ODU and Norfolk. Welcome to the ASN studio. I'm Ashley. Thanks for sticking with us during halftime. The Monarchs have been playing well this season, receiving votes in both the AP and the coaches poll for a top 25 spot. Old Dominion looks like they're ready to start conference play, which will begin for them on Sunday. Tonight's matchup is the final non-conference game for the Monarchs and the Mountaineers. This isn't the only matchup we have on ASN this week. Tuesday night, Harvard goes to Phoenix. The Crimson is not the only top-notch team that the Lopes have paired up against this season. Dan Marley and his team opened their season by playing at Kentucky and Indiana on the road, then hosted New Mexico. Tomorrow, the Lopes welcome Harvard to Phoenix. We take a break Wednesday night and Thursday night, then we come back with our first Conference USA matchup. UTEP goes to Denton to play North Texas. Coming into the season, the Miners were predicted to finish third overall in the conference, and the Mean Green was picked to land in the middle of the pack. Saturday, ASN has two games on the schedule, starting at three. Wofford goes to Homewood, Alabama to play Sanford. Then at 4, St. Bonaventure is at UMass. Check your local listings for the game in your area. For a full schedule of our games on ASN, go to our website, americansportsnet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our handle's live on ASN. Coming up, we do our own picks, ASN's top five quarterbacks. And it turns out these guys are also a few of the best that FBS and FCS had to offer.